Yeah, practice is going good. Um, I think, you know, we, we obviously have a lot of guys that, that come ready to play. Um, we have guys getting in the rink an hour, an hour and a half early, uh, and, you know, doing things that they need to do to be successful in practice, you know, which is going to obviously correlate to games. Um, you know, our coaching staff is, is ready and prepared for practice, uh, you know, which is kind of leads from top down. And then, you know, I think our captains and our, and our upperclassmen show a lot of leadership in uh, how to prepare for games, which is through the course of the week of practice. And uh, it's been good so far. Our freshmen are doing real well. They're picking up on uh, all our drills and, you know, the intensity that we bring to practice. And they're, you know, starting to figure out what it takes to be a successful college hockey player. I'd probably just say the crowd. Uh, you know, it's obviously nice to have the crowd behind you, and I think our rink is one of the best ones in college hockey for that opponent. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy about it, and just the the fact that we get to, you know, I think a little bit more R and R when you're playing at home rather than traveling. And you know, when we went to UNH, it was a pretty long trip to get there and to get back, and uh, you know, just to have the ability to go to and from the rink. I mean, I'm like 35 yards away from the rink, so that'll be real nice just to be able to walk over, walk back, and, and you know, you got your own space to prepare and. Uh, you know, like I said, I think the crowd is probably the most important part to me. Talk to us about the hair a little bit. Yeah, um, well, I'm looking back there right now. Corey Thorson sitting here too. He's got pretty long, uh, pretty long locks. But um, I mean, I'm sure everyone's seen the, the interviews and, and you know little articles about us and stuff. And and uh, yeah, I mean, it, uh, I think Coach Mosco kind of nailed it on the head. I've heard him say before. He said he doesn't know if it started out as a cause or you know just something for us to do. And I think originally it was just you know everyone grows their hair out during the during the year. And you know if I had, had short hair I can grow it out right now and, and uh, I just kept it and you know after the season last year it was at a good length and it didn't bother me and I was like you know we should just keep it and then I you know took Vince Jensen and Anowski to do it because they had long hair at the time and Thoris was still growing his out uh, so now we've gotten to the point where you know we're you know already into it and we decided that we're going to do it it's for a great cause and little did we know that it had to be 10 inches in a ponytail so that's pretty long but um, you know other than uh, Court mentioned in our interview other than the bed head and you know, constantly having to keep it back, um, you know, it's not too bad. So it'll be for a good cause. I think that, you know, me having to struggle through a couple of years of having long hair is, you know, nothing compared to what people that have to, uh, you know, deal with the hardships of